Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working on those paper pumpkin alternatives for July 2024's kit called Painted Petals. It's absolutely gorgeous. This being video number five everybody, this will be the last time I show everything that comes in the kits. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, please know that I use one paper pumpkin with exceptions of the holidays when they have kits that coordinate with the following kit. I usually get one for the following month. So this is the gorgeous. There's three of this one, three of this one, and three of this one. And the video code that will lead you to a video that will show you how to assemble the cards as they were designed. This one down here will lead you to the Thanks and Beyond dies, which I am not using in this one. This particular video, Thanks and Beyond, I'm still calling it that. I just can't help myself. Hmm. Where is the, the dies? They are called Every Celebration dies. Oh, yeah, 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 yikes. And they are a great size, guys. Look at that. I mean, size-wise, those are great. I've already used two of the three. And these will coordinate with July, August, and September's. Um, so a visual of everything in the kit and then the coordinating colors. So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to show you the stamp sets. The stamp set. So you have this little details. You have the flower. The wee little hello. I almost used it, but it was too small. And I'm almost wondering if I'm going to find... Um, I'm trying, struggling to find out where I can use that little hello if it was just a little bit bigger. Let's celebrate you. You're simply the best. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Friends like you make life beautiful. Okay, and let's show you. Uh, let's go over what you get in the kit. So here we have this little bit. So this month's kit, you had a gray granite wee little spot. You got this 3M double coated tissue tape and some dimensionals and these great little adhesive backed sequins. I'm going to set those aside. Um, you've got these, which you've got three of each of these little strips. This is Melon Mambo Clips of Coral in Old Olive. Um, the, oh, the best part of all the whole kit are these die cut flowers here. And guess which one we're using? It's missing. It's the poppy. I'm trying to get that back in there. So these are just lovely. Set those up there. You got five of each of the sentiment um, bits here. So that gives you one, <laughs> one extra in case you mess up, or two extra because you got five and there's three cards. So you got two just in case you messed up. I guess that wasn't too bad of them. I just wish that. Uh, I don't know. Ones that you can flip over are a little bit more useful. So this is the poppy one that we are using the card base. That's the envelope. This is the card base and you're going to see it in its entirety. So that one. And then you have the daisy and that is back of it is an old olive. This one is the melon mambo one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Now, let's show you those coordinating colors. I've got them all here. So, we're going to start with Mossy Meadow, Peach Pie, then they have Pretty in Pink, but they have the new Pretty in Pink, which I'm showing you the old Pretty in Pink, and this is the new Pretty in Pink. Um, Melon Mambo, Old Olive, Daffodil Delight, the gray granite, granny apple green, and calypso coral. So I don't need to show those no more. So these will get put um, away, but I'm gonna clip them together so that they don't get lost anywhere. All right, so shall we see what we are going to be doing? Yahoo, we're bringing in a stamp set. So the lovely Miss Leslie Wheeler sent me all of these lovely pages. We, I'm bringing in this particular paper pumpkin stamp set because of the hello and then it says a little something to brighten your day which I think is just lovely and I found it by utilizing my little book. Now this can be found on the Facebook group 
Paper Pumpkin Fan Club under files. So open my notebook and here we go. So we are using a card base as the card base. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised too, but we are. Um, this is the one with the poppy. Then we have a layer of vellum. Yes, we're going to make it diffused even more. It almost, I think, brings it out more. So this is the cardstock vellum from Stamping Up. Four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Then I have layer number two is black. And I'm going to have to, apparently I did not get it just so. So once I get it on my card, I'm going to have to do a little trimming or a little trimming before. Because you can see how it just is not quite, well, it, it's going to work. I think we'll just leave it alone. So it should have started out as four and a quarter by five and a half with the center die cut out with the countryside in dies that coordinated with that set. Um, and then we're going to be cutting apart this die cut because I only want this particular flower. This will come in video number six. I already have that one prepped. Um, the Calypso Coral Strip. Ta -da! And then I have a scrap for the small retired oval punch. And then, of course, the hello in a little something from the June 2020s paper pumpkin kit. So this one, it, it really is not going to be hard. Um, but the first thing we really need to do is stamp our hello. And we're going to stamp on the inside. So do question is, do I want to use Calypso Coral or black? And I'm going to go with black. The reason being is I have this great black um, border frame for the card. What am I looking for? The stamp in Pierce Matte is what I'm looking for. So, no me with scratch paper. I'm going to use it till I can't use it no more. Or I feel like I can't use it anymore. So here's my little hello. Look how perfect that is. This is so old. This is one of the first punches I got from Stamping Up back like 2005. Yeah, that's how old this punch is. And it still works like a dream. So there's that. All done. Set that aside. Let's stamp the inside of our card. I know we're kind of going a little backwards. We're going to bring in the Calypso Coral because we need some color. That's Cajun Craze. Let's turn the tower. I have the old Stampin' Up tower and I so need a new stamp pad for Calypso Coral, but we don't need to re-stamp it. We do need this. We're going to stamp. Okay. I just want it lightly on there. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now we're going to do that on here. Just a little. I'm going to fold it over like this and stamp again. Just adding a little because I did this on one card and it was so pretty. So this is going to go. Do I do it down here? Yes. And guess what? We're going to do it up at the top. Um, yeah, we are. We're going to add a little right there. Just a little something to be different, right? And I'm going to do, well, of course I'm doing the envelope, guys. You want it to be just as pretty, don't you? This time, let's stamp quite a bit of these like that. And then over here, right there. And then we're going to do some little speckles. I stamped off four times there. One, two, three, four. And then stamped there. So there is, I think we need a little more on there. There we go. So our envelope complete. Our card base is, com oh, the inside. The inside we're stamping in black. Let's bring that back. Almost forgot it. So this says, a little something to brighten your day. No need to do the smushy smushy already been done. And I think this card would brighten anybody's day. It's 
gonna be great. All right, so those put over there so I don't touch them or there's nothing goes over on them. You know how that goes. Alrighty, so we are taking this and all I'm going to do, this is cut to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And I want not tear tape, I want um, some little glue dots because all I do, all I'm going to do is secure it in, oh, I had some big ones down here. I just want to secure the vellum down in the corners because you're not going to see this. I have nails again, somewhat. All I need is that, those four. Give them a little rub down. Make sure that adhesive is really gonna secure to our paper. Maybe pick it up, take it off. These little box guys will cling to everything. They follow you in the house. <laughs> they are not happy to be separated, right? Okay. And this doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to see where the little dots were at in the first place. But the problem being is that this <laughs> and vellum do not play well. So we need the good old... Um, we're going to go with one eighth of an inch tear tape. All the way around, which sorry, I guess I could have thought about if I had thought about it. I would have put this on before, but I didn't, sorry. There we have it. Rub down time, massage it, rub it in. It's gonna make it easier to release the backing. And we're gonna do our best to get it right on there. I didn't do such a good job on that one, so let's push that down on the card. So y'all, my Aunt Carol is in Michigan um, visiting her sister, my Aunt Judy, and my Aunt Judy texted me that apparently my Aunt Carol got COVID on the plane. So she is sick, which is not good because she has COPD. So I am, oh, nothing better happened to her. So I feel really awful that she is struck down with that here while she was visiting my Aunt Judy. Look at how gorgeous that just frames it out. So this and this, you know what we could do just to make this stand out a little more is I think I'm going to dip it in Calypso Coral. I don't want to get the sponge dauber. I should get the sponge dauber. Yes, I'm going to get the sponge dauber. Alright. I should, right? Let's see if I can find the Calypso Coral one. There has to be one. That's crushed curry, believe it or not. Granny Apple Green. It's in the Subtles, so let's try the Subtles if I put it in there. Lemon Molly. Soft Sea Foam. Are you kidding me? This is it. It's in the wrong... It used to be a Regal, that's why it's in the Regals. All right, we need, yeah, Thinking Fingers is thinking, where did my sink and pierce map go? Right here. All right, I don't want it harsh, but we're gonna go around the edge. Right, 
now we're now we're done now we're done with that one this is going to go right over that but we're not going to put that together but we are going to do a little surgery so take a deep breath and breathe and it's all going to be good so we're cutting this off I am cutting then this piece off I just have to cut out all the white frame take your time with it I have plans for the other two. You could use the entire thing if you wanted. Me, I want this kit to go as far as I can take it, so I need to cut it apart. But if you got a refill, you can spare. You have spares. I'm not getting a refill. So we have to go in here and take that off and this off. Then I'm coming up into here. Take that off. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, though I'm not going to do any more there. And then I need to cut these off. <coughs> and cut there. I might keep that little stem. I don't know, because I might extend this one. Okay, and cut that off. Now this will go into the next video. Hopefully I don't lose that piece. Um, let's clean it this up. And we're going to clean it, this leaf up, this little white bit right there. It needs to be cleaned up. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. So 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 pretty pretty and this is going to come like so and let's see maybe i'll make it maybe i'll make this all the way down at the bottom put it in here like so oh i like that i like that a lot all right, so I am thinking this really does need, this piece here needs to be brought up. So let's go ahead and cut some of this fun foam to go behind it, right? I have it, let's use it. Get a rough cutting. Here. You can use dimensionals, guys. I'm just showing you what you can do. Right? Okay. This one looks like maybe if I cut it like that, that will go behind this piece. Oh no, it's still too big still too big. So let's cut more of that off. Now that will go behind that one. <clears throat> and this piece, I think this section here will work on it. Don't want it to go to waste, right? Believe it or not, I really think that's going to work. And we we'll shall see, right? We shall see if it really works. So let's put these pieces on it. And guys, I just threw away the pieces I cut for the leaves. Oh, no, no, no. Not good. So we're going to have to recut those, but that's all right. I grabbed them not realizing what I was doing. I made a home plate for baseball. Look at that. There's that just gives that piece uh, okay 
let's try gluing it down before we go and um, still needs like a little off of that and this needs to come off Sherry, if you watch this, <laughs> you'll be like, that's what she's going to do with that stuff. <laughs> yes. This is what I'm going to do with it. I am going to use it. And this one, I probably get away with just this little bit here. All right. Now we can put it on there, right? And it's going to work out just fine. Remember, that piece is going to go there. So we're going to put this piece offsetting it from... And this piece now, oh, it's going to have to go on top. I wanted it, I should have moved that over to the side. I wanted this behind it like that. That's okay. I can still do that. I can still do that. Yes, I can. Except that uh, it won't play nice with vellum. So let's grab a little piece of... Her tape. Lift this up a bit. Throw that down. We can use this to rub it down with. Apply this off and hopefully that little bit of fun foam will come with it, but it didn't want to. It's stuck to the tear tape. Alright, so that is good and secure. And now we can put the hello <coughs> Put a little bit of this over here. Yep. And then a little glue there, a little glue there. And look at how cute our card is. Yeah, yes. That is darling. Darling, darling, darling. I just realized, I hope that that sticks. I can hear Hank yelling at something in there. All right. So is that going to stay down on the vellum? I don't know. I might have to. We'll see. I might have found some glue. That I think that's that PVA glue in that bottle. I need to so label this. Oh my goodness. Okay. A little bit of bling. And we're going to use up their bling because I am enjoying using it. So we want one here. Want one here. We're going to scatter them across. One here. One there. And one up here. And that, guys, is my card. Ha! Ah, yes! Yes, yes, yes. I love doing this. Oh, so much. So, as I color this in, I'm going to ask you guys, if you guys are not subscribed, it would really help me out if you would just even consider subscribing. That might sound crazy. I do understand how some people don't want to do subscribe to the YouTube video, but it really does help um, get your videos out there. <clears throat> and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have time to hit that thumbs up, that like button, if you liked what I did, as that also helps me out tremendously. But I almost threw that away, guys. <laughs> but as I was going to tell you guys, your comments, guys, are why I do this. Don't think that 
they're they're just oh somebody commented no i read each and every one of them it's what i do first thing in the morning unless like my daughter comes in or something like that i do periodically check it but I try hard to not be on my phone as a, a media output. There's so many things in life to enjoy um, that I don't want to be glued to my phone all the time. I, I use it for video recording. I use it as a phone. I do check the social media and all that stuff periodically, but I'm not on there all the time. So, um, but your comments are very important to me. I enjoy each and every one of them. I chuckle. I laugh. My family, I share them with them. They all think it's absolutely fabulous. So thank you all so very much. And as always, please come back and visit me in my Wonderland. Let me show you the inside once more. Pretty cool. I'm really, really happy with it. So thanks again, guys. Bye-bye for now.